Hey everyone, Orange here. Welcome back to another guild battle video. Today we are fighting Swag, and this is the first video where you guys will see me showcase my Copper Bulldozer team. A lot of these looked hittable by farmable teams. Ramagos and Copper were two of my staples. A lot of these teams were susceptible to it. I'm getting better at using my Copper too. Yesterday I realized that you should not Copper high defense monsters, but with Bulldozer, Bulldozer just straight up ig ignores defense no matter what. So I'm getting better with that. Let's go ahead and check out the matches. For the first one, I just had to be careful choosing targets with my Copper and Bulldozer for the first fight. I build my Bella with a defense rune, so I did not want to risk hitting that Bella. If she has half of more than half of my Copper's defense, he won't ignore defense, and I'll show you guys what happens there. For the second team, I decided to Ramagos it. Hopefully I can kill something fast enough before the Varad kills me. It was a little bit of a risk, but I decided to go for it. If the Varad can do a lot of damage, he might start chunking out my fire monsters, and then the Kumar might start focusing them. I thought that this was my best shot. With the unrecoverable debuff, that's really going to help me get my clean shot off. That's why I chose that team. I just decided to experiment with it because I didn't have many options. That enemy team is a very good bruiser team. I don't think I have a bruiser team that could really match it and do well against it, so I went for, I think, the higher percentage play, which was my Ramagos team. So let's go ahead and watch it. So I'm going to be careful with picking targets. I don't know how much defense the Brienne or Bella will have. Brienne probably won't have that much, but I'm worried about the Bella. So I'm thinking here what I should do. I decide to pop the Theo, and I thought that was my best play. I It was really great right there that I resisted the defense break. And then since Bulldozer ignores defense no matter what, I am going to try to kill the Bella. And that didn't work, but... I end up being able to survive here quite a bit, and then I end up doing a good amount of AoE damage to everything. I didn't really pay attention to all of the resists and stuff like that, but it seemed like things should have gone south somewhere in there. <laughs> like, it seems like that Theo should have killed me or something, but I just get rid of the Theo because he's really the only threat to me, and then... I slowly take out Bella here, because Bella will be defense breaking me, but I have two defense-based monsters, so I should be okay. One should, you know, not be defense broken, because Bella's AI is kind of weird. She sometimes focuses one thing. I've noticed that in TOA hard, she'll just keep defense breaking the same thing. And um, I tried to save my copper there because I knew I would probably have to use that cheesy sort of team again and I won't be able just to rely on my other monsters. So here we go for the second fight. I'm just hoping the Vera doesn't do a lot of damage. I did put my Vela Jewel on a will recently because I started to farm Necro last week, and that was really nice against this sort of team. It's always nice to just remember that, oh hey yeah, my Vela Jewel's on will. That helps out a lot. I am trying to see how squishy Verad is because he does scale off defense and I want to clean shot him because if I clean shot him then both of the enemies, the other two beast monks, will most likely go after Ramagos. I want them to be hitting Ramagos rather than splitting up their damage. Maybe that's actually, maybe I'm wrong with that because it is kind of nice that they split up on my fire units. Well, he just did his AoE but if the beast monks are split, then my Ramagos won't be focused so hard. So I tried to clean shot there and I don't really remember what happened. Maybe the Vera just had a lot of HP. I didn't really see how much damage I did. And then I realized that I'm getting hit with Nem- or whatever the fuck those are called. Uh, destroy runes. And I don't know who has it. I was like kind of nervous because we're fighting swag. Not really just because it's swag, but I mean- I don't know, like, I think they had some roster changes recently and people left, so I don't know what their situation is, but it's a guild that's a lot better. Even these people at the bottom ranks are probably a lot better than me. And I was noticing that the Fire Beast Monk was looking really squishy. 
I probably should have clean shattered him first. I honestly think I just shit the bed on this fight, and I think this loss was totally my fault. I should have clean shotted the Fire Beast Monk because he was the one with the destroy runes, I believe, because I stopped getting destroyed after he's dead. Um, so I should have done that. I think I should have won, but it was really just my fault, just like not paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention now. I don't know if I'm able to tell if he was the one destroying me or not. Um, but from here on, I pretty much just keep trying because th I'm hoping that the draw button will show up before I have to, before I lose. It didn't, so I did lose this fight. I'm gonna go back and see if I can tell. Wait, hold on. We can just tell here, actually, if he doesn't. No, he's gonna die. Let me go back to see if I can tell if he's the one destroying me. Um, we'll go ahead. Wait, increase. What the hell? Okay, let's go here. I can't see what's happening. Because I'm pretty sure it was him. I'm resisting a bunch of stuff. My Ramagos does have really high resist. Increase attack speed critical. Resist. Maybe... I can't tell. Maybe there is no notification. Hmm. I don't know. If you guys know, you can let me know. A couple weeks ago, I did get completely trapped by a destroy team with my Ramagos. It was a really easily Ramagosable team, except for the destroy runes. And I've been struggling with knowing if I should keep destroy runes or sell them as I'm farming Necro. That is something that I will have to continue research on. So I lost that one, so that one was a draw. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead to the second one. Okay, for this one, I did lose my Velojewel, and thinking back on it, if I had him, it would be a lot safer than using Lisa. For the second team, I'm hoping that they will focus Theomars and that she will bomb Theomars. And I brought my Retesh in there just in case Theo dies if the other team is quite fast. If I can't heal enough, or if I can't heal in time, I brought Ritesh to hopefully clean up with Lisa. I'm just banking on that she bombs Theo Mars. For the first team, I decided to Copper Bulldozer it again, but I'm going to be careful with my target choices. The Water Panda and the Archangel are defense-based monsters, so I'm not going to hit them with Copper. I'm going to use Copper to kill the Mermaid, and then I'll use Bulldozer to kill the Archangel, and then I should slowly be able to kill the Water Panda after the other two are dead. I don't really know what the Dark Archangel does. He doesn't have a res, though. I think if, en if allies on his team are dead, he does more damage or something, but that didn't really matter. I'm going to get first turn, so that's what I did. Okay, like I said, I don't think the mermaid is a defense-based monster, so I'm going to hit her with my copper and then save the actual ignore defense monster bulldozer. You guys know what I mean by that. Copper has that little, little line where it says uh, you'll ignore defense only if their defense is less than half of yours. So I kill the mermaid, and then I get the archangel pretty low. I probably should have been able to kill him. Maybe he had some HP there. I think the water panda increases HP. I didn't quite see what happened there with my bulldozer. And then the defense buff, I'm able to just whittle him down. I'm going for stuns on my first skill with copper. And I'm able to finish him off. So that's the first round. Second round, I've always been questioning this. If Orion defense breaks something, will Sierra bomb it? Here's one example where she does. I don't know if that always happens. And then unfortunately, the Perna was very fast. That was actually a fast Perna. Um, I, well, I mean, I'm not actually sure how fast that was. My Lisa is a little bit slow. She's only plus 80 speed. If I had Velajul, maybe he would be able to outspeed the Perna. I don't really know, but unfortunately that went badly. <laughs> Actually thinking about it, maybe if I had Velajul, I think Velajul has about 10 more speed than Lisa. Maybe it would have worked out. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty much over from here. I decided just to play it out. Maybe I should have saved my monsters. I don't know. But I'm trying to get a glancing on the Perna, and then I have to get rid of Sierra. 
So I go ahead and attack her. I didn't kill her, which was kind of surprising. I don't know what happened there. Maybe she was tanky. I mean, I could go back and see how much HP she had. But I pretty, I mean, it was over from when my Ritesh died. But I decide to play it out and I get a lot of violent procs. But even then, um, I was hoping right here, I had a glimmer of hope. Even in situations like this, Perna might go for the Lisa, even though Theomars is at zero HP. So I still had some hope, but Orion just violent procced, I think, there. Wait, yeah, he had to have violent procced and then he kills me. If he didn't, maybe I would have had a chance. Hard to say if my Theomars could have killed Orion in that turn. But yeah, I, I could have had a chance because I have seen Pernas do that. So I decided to play it out. Kind of hard to say if it'd be better to save monsters or if that was fine. So another draw. And then let's go ahead and skip ahead to the last one. I decided to kind of take a risk with the first fight. I'm very aware that there could be will runes. They could violent proc. All three of those monsters are most likely on violent. I could possibly not land my stun with my Lagmar on. A lot of things could go wrong. They could have a lot of HP with the Allage Reel. A lot of things could go wrong depending on the enemy's rune quality, but I figured that's my best shot. Okay, then for the second fight, I decided to do like a weird copper team. I'm going to go for the HP-based monster first which is the Joltan. I think he might be squishier <laughs> than the Kumar. I could go for the Kumar, but I would have to crit him. So I'm just going to go for the, the Joltan first and then slowly kill uh, the Water Archangel Ariel and then finally kill Kumar. Let's go ahead and check out the fight. So luckily there were no will runes, but now I just have to rely on if I land defense break, if I land the attack debuff, if I land some good stuns, if I can do enough damage to them. I did 22,300 damage to the Theomars. I think the Ladriel only has a wind HP buff, I don't really know, but that Theomars is packing a lot of HP. I honestly should have been able to do like do more than that, I don't know. That was kind of weird because I did land the defense break. I don't know what happened there. And then I landed a really nice stun on Shasun and the enemies were quite slow compared to me. I did have the speed leader and the speed buff though, so I think that's kind of normal that they were so slow. Here, I made a mistake. I probably should have attacked debuffed the Theo because he could really go off here and kill Lagmaron. Um, he hit Galleon, which was good. I decide to squall a Ladriel because he's going to move first. Then I wisen up and put the attack debuff on Theo. And Theo already chose to start attacking Galleon, so it's pretty much a win here. I think he will continue to do that. I try to get a defense break on Chasun because she's my next target. I'm going to play it safe here and kill Theo. And then eventually, when it's down to Chasun, that's pretty much it for her. I'm tracking my cooldowns here and making sure that I will have a defense break on her when I choose to use my squall, but I am not landing my defense break. And then right there I just finish her off. And then for the second round, like I said, I'm going to go for the HP based monster because I don't want to risk the Archangel having half of my copper's defense. So I go for him. My copper also does not have a 100% crit rate, which I might look to change here soon. And then here, I'm just going to be trying to land all my debuffs on the enemies. And my team should be pretty safe from the Kumar because I have a defense buff. And I also built my Emesity pretty tanky. He could be a little bit faster, but I decided to make him slower with more HP so he can survive. And I did skill him up last week. The skill ups are absolutely amazing. The cool time goes down by two on his third skill. So I have my defense buff up a lot more and it really helps me survive. And then here I'm just timing my cooldowns, making sure I put my defense buff up on my copper whenever my copper's third skill is ready. I'm using my copper's first to try to get stuns on him so he doesn't keep healing. And then of course the glancing too. I decided to defense break there but then finally I realized I should probably just be trying to stun him and hope for a crit on my third. So this fight goes a little bit longer. We're just gonna skip to when I finally get my crit. 
okay, right there, I finally get my crit on him, and then he's dead. So I got a win, and that was pretty nice. I just tried to do my best. Overall, I should have probably had two wins. I think I just really shit myself when I was fighting the two beast monks with my Ramagos, and I definitely should have clean shotted the fire beast monk. I don't know how to tell which one has destroy runes, but if I could tell that, I already could tell that he was squishy. If I could tell that he had destroy runes, automatically I would clean shot him because of those two factors, destroy runes and he was really squishy. So um, I think I should have had two wins, but yeah. So that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys later.